I'm Lori Fitzpatrick, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer at Radius Health. I'd like to tell you about our findings with the baloperatide, which is a subcutaneous daily injection. This new anabolic agent was run in a phase three landmark trial, during which we went head to head with the current anabolic on the market, teriparatide. There was also a placebo arm. We recruited over 2,400 patients and randomized them to placebo, abaloperatide, or teriparatide. The findings are amazing. At sites rich in cortical bones, such as the femoral neck and the total hip, abaloperatide actually increased BMD better than teriparatide. And when you look at fracture, which is what really matters to the patient, there was a reduction in vertebral fractures of 86% with abaloperatide and of 80% with teriparatide. Where the differences really showed up was on non-vertebral fractures. These are really important to postmenopausal women because they happen at sites that are rich in cortical bone, such as the wrist, the hip, the tibia, the shoulder. We had a 43% reduction in non-vertebral fractures with baloperitide treatment compared to placebo. Yet teriparatide did not have a reduction in non-vertebral fractures. Some people wonder why this may be different from the pivotal teriparatide trial that was done quite a few years ago. The teriparatide trial in the paper by Near actually showed that they had a very, very high risk population. In our study, people had osteoporosis, but 37% of the population did not have a prior fracture. So we actually have a broader population with osteoporosis in our phase three trial. We have some more fracture data in the trial. We looked at clinical fractures, and a clinical fracture is any fracture that brings you to the doctor, regardless of trauma. And in that trial, abaloperatide once again reduced clinical fractures compared to placebo, where teriparatide did not. There's another category of fracture called major osteoporotic fracture. These are fractures of the clinical spine, the hip, the forearm, and the shoulder. They're very important fractures because they're the ones that really convey more risk if you've had one of these. In this trial, Bayer Paradise reduced major osteoporotic fractures by 70%, yet teriparatide did not. Even more interesting is that abaloperatide reduced major osteoporotic fractures by 55% compared to teriparatide. We also looked at subgroup analysis in the trial. These were pre-specified subgroups, and we looked at things such as age, T-score, prior vertebral fracture, or prior non-vertebral fracture. When you look at all of these risk factors across the population, you see that abaloperatide worked regardless of the age, the baseline T-score, whether they had a prior vertebral or non-vertebral fracture. That's a very different finding from several other products that are currently on the market, where they seem to work only in those really severely affected patients. So for example, if you had a patient with a T-score that didn't look so bad, but had a fracture already, we know that in this population, this drug will work. Abaloperatide is currently an investigational drug and is given by subcutaneous injection daily. Abaloperatide is under review by the FDA and we have an approval date of the 30th of March next year. So we're excited that if the FDA thinks that we have adequate efficacy and safety, that we'll have this investigational drug to give to our patients.